hail. Today we're going to be looking at this uh, carburetor. This is from a Makita chainsaw. Makita, Domar, same chainsaw. So what we're going to do here is just going to take it apart, show you all the parts and what to look for. And then you could uh, get a rebuild kit, put it back together. So let's get started. So first I'm going to show you. This is the choke, choke lever. So this is the choke lever side where you pull the choke out. So I'm going to show you what happens when we pull the choke. So if you pull the choke, it closes the, uh, the butterfly here. But also in the back, you can see it, it opens up the throttle. Okay? So when you start it, it's on a, uh, a higher RPM than when it idles. So now if you push the choke back in, right, it still stays open. So when you start it, it'll still be on a high idle. So now when you, when it finally starts and you hit the throttle, which is this, see the, the other throttle side, you recognize that? So when you hit that, you see that lever here, how it releases? Oh, that's all right. When you when you have the choke out closed, it doesn't work that way. But when you once you push the choke in, right? You open it up. Then when you hit it, you see it. It lets it back down, so that you can go back down to idle. Anyway, let's uh, let's open this thing up. Anyway, so this is the uh, top. When you open up your uh, chainsaw, the choke side here, this is the top. You can see this. You can see this uh, once you uh, open it up. Let's open this up. So I'm basically doing this video for anybody who needs to know how stuff goes back together in case you uh, forgot, misplaced something. So first, we take out the top center screw. And the top plate comes off. And this is a uh, this is a diaphragm. This isn't just a rubber gasket because it has these two flaps here, here and here. So you'll be replacing that with your with your new uh, kit. So we see that we got the screw, top cover plate, diaphragm. It's not a diaphragm like the other side, but that's basically it's acting like one. And then we have the uh, the gasket next. Okay? Okay, and, so, and the uh, the cover has two little tits on it to keep keep you from being able to put this on the wrong way. Okay? Now, when you're doing it, one of the important things you're going to get is a new screen to go in here. Now if you don't have a kit and you want to try to fix your uh, carburetor without putting in the new stuff, clean this screen out, blow some stuff into here, carburetor cleaner into these two holes, maybe these two, but you could take that screen out and clean it good. If you have bad gas in your carburetor, chances are that this screen is going to be clogged up. So just like get it, get a uh, a pointer like this, you know, and try to take it out like this. There we go. See it? Well, let me get a pair of tweezers so I can show that to you. Get my tweezers right over here. Alright, here's the tweezers. Now if you look at this screen, you can see it's it's pretty dirty. But anyway, 
this will get it'll look like a, a solid solid white thing but it'll be really a clogged screen so keep an eye out for that replace the screen if you're getting the rebuild kit okay so that's part of the rebuild kit okay now we're gonna flip her over and go to the second side alright so now to do this you gotta take the carburetor out of the saw the other side you could do without Okay, on this side is uh, the main diaphragm. This real, the other one really ain't a diaphragm. They're like valves. One way valve. Okay, so this is gonna should be a short video. I'm just doing this so you guys can know how to put this back together. If you have it taken apart and you forgot, give you a couple pointers. Okay, now we get that out. Now we can take our thing off here. There we go. Let's get it started. Okay, now we have the, the cover, bottom cover, right? Now this is the diaphragm. This is what pumps the uh, gas. Okay, so this diaphragm looks actually pretty good. If yours is all shriveled up around the inside here, it's probably bad. This one looks good. See how the reflex of it coming right back up? So that's what it's going to do. It's going to keep getting sucked down by the uh, by the uh, vacuum and back up. And every time it does, it pumps a little bit of fuel. Okay. So this one is, is good. So now the next we got... I'm gonna get this off. I'm using my pick. I'm using my pick. Okay. So be careful with it. You don't want to rip it, especially if it's still good. Okay. There we go. Yeah, this one's definitely still good. So you can see that metal disc goes facing down. Okay, the other thing they uh, give you in the kit is the uh, the needle and the arm thing here, the float needle valve. That's what lets in a little bit of fuel every time. See? So when you do that, you want to you're going to want to well, you got to take this little screw out. Let's take it out. Okay, it's not going to be tight, too tight. Okay, put that off to the side. Now you can see there's a, a little spring that goes in, down in the hole there. Let me get my tweezers. And this is be the needle valve. Okay, so this is all, all going to be new in your kit. At least uh, some kits just have the needle valve, some kits have the whole thing. Okay, and the spring. And when you put this back together, they're going to make you want to uh, bend this little tab so, it's, so that it functions properly. So it needs to have a, it'll show you, it'll need to be like level with the uh, the other parts of the uh, carburetor. Okay, let's put this back in, if we can. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay, see the pain in the ass. If you're not comfortable doing this, get somebody else to do it. There it goes again. 
All right, there's got to be a better way. So let's stick the needle in the hole first. And then we'll uh, put the uh, lever on top. We'll get the spring, put it in its hole. Get the needle. Put it in its hole. Then we're gonna get this like this. Hook the needle like that. There we go. There we go. Let's cross thread it right in there. <laughs> Just kidding, don't cross thread it. Anyway, screw it right in there. Sorry about wasting your time on that. But anyway, as I was saying, so when you get this in there, you want it to, this, this lever is going to want to be flat level with this. And they, uh, they, they do some kind of roller thing where they go across it like this. And, it'll sh and the, the kid will show you exactly how to do it. But anyway, this one looks like it might be uh, it might be measuring down from the uh, from the line across the top to the uh, the valve. So it might be like uh, I don't know two two millimeters, something like that. Anyway, if you can get it to work like this, you're in good shape. Okay. And when you put the uh, diaphragm back on, like I said, you can't mess it up because it's got the little tits with the little holes. So what we're going to do is put it on like that. And you can see it's going to be good. Okay. Then you put the lid back on. And you're good to go. Make sure you, when you take all this stuff apart, you blow all the holes through with a car carburetor cleaner. Any little hole you see, hit it with carburetor cleaner. Wear some uh, safety glasses while you do this stuff too. Alright, let's get one of these screws started. There's no need to over tighten them. I'm going to lower my clutch down to like a two. So I don't want to kill it. That's all. Just get it in there. Not too tight. Not too loose. Put the other side back together. Gasket. Gasket first. Metering device. Yeah, metering device. Put that on there. Just like that. Okay, then you can see what, where the uh, valves go right here and the little tits go right here and here. Okay, the point goes here, so we know that's the right way to put it on there. Okay, one screw on top. Voila, that's it. So, if you got to rebuild your uh, Makita chainsaw carburetor, there you go. It's not that hard. It's only a couple things you got to do. The screen's the main thing. 
on the one side and the diaphragm, the main thing on the other, and the, uh, the metering valve. Just get them things right and you'll have a good carburetor, go, good to go. But like I said, to me the main thing is that little screen gets clogged and if it's really old, the, uh, the metering uh, diaphragm gets bad. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up too.